Today we're gonna put this winch on this tilt bed trailer, tilt deck, I guess. All right, got the winch out of the box. Comes with instructions and all that stuff. And you gotta kind of partially put it together. Um, it's a uh, cable type, the like, fishing line, essentially. This spare lead here has got no mount because the front of the winch, there's no mount for it. So we're gonna have to make something real quick. Uh, um, the mount to the front there so that the cable coming will come through there and uh, not get hooked up on anything and whatnot. So let's pull something out. Like uh, I'm going backward, but what the deal is is that this is a tilt deck trailer. So these cables, the positive and negative, which is this one here, and then the one that comes off the, the motor itself, um, they're going to be lengthened. I have to um, make them longer because as the trailer tilts up, the uh, <laughs> the cables will stretch, so they're not stretchy. So I'm going to pull this uh, the top cover off of this. These four screws, so I can get it the uh, the positive there um, and then we'll put a new line on um, positive here to go all the way to the battery because the battery's up near the front so that's what i'm doing now very fun not normal stuff but normal stuff you can see or not okay so this is a new uh new positive and a new negative that we've got on it you can see that or not i can't tell anyway they're running down they're uh, going through the hole right there. And they're currently just attached to the spool right there. So it's two gauge wire. Um, the issue is gonna be underneath here um, where it's, uh, it's gonna attach because um, this is a tilt uh, trailer. So the trailer's gonna go up, which means we have to leave a little slack for the uh, for the lines to be able to, to go up and down, so we'll figure that when we get to it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, mount the winch in the uh, holes there. The four holes are these these rear holes. Boom, boom, boom. And then our uh, bracket that we're having blown out will be in the front for the fair lead. This is the fair lead. It'll go right there. This will be bent. Um, I gotta punch out this hole and this hole. Um, oh, and this hole and this hole. This will be mounted to the uh, frame. That right there will be mounted to here and here. Oh, the cable can go in and out. It's just kind of a cable guide. This piece goes on there so that the cable doesn't fray. It looks super cool. Let's get to punching the holes. All right. She's filming. This is an iron worker, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch holes with a punch here. Um, it on. Crap kind of out of the way. There 
go, it's punched out. So the punch itself has a little tin on the bottom, so just lining up with that. Next step, we're gonna put a bend in it right here where these two little ticks are. If you can see the ticks or not, there's a tick there and a tick there. We're gonna bend it on the bender, the shear, or whatever the heck it's called. All right, we got the. I can't, I can't see it, but there it's called the nudger, N U G I E R. And if you're doing it, I think it's really nudger. This is like a V plate. I've used this like one time. Golden glove. She done. Bolt onto that. Bolt onto the front. And the winch cable will come out of there and go through there. Pull the cars. Perfect. I just have to sand this down and paint it. Get some bolts. Hook her up. All right, she's mounted on there with the fair lead. Just guides the line. So now, what you gotta do is you gotta raise it up. Downy. Raising it up so you can see what we're going to need to do for the lines. That's about it. Okay, so that's about it on how high it gets. So I'm going to stretch out this line. this. to have a drag on it. Let's do this. video even worked. I just uh, spooled the line on. The line's all spooled on. 
I uh, attached it to my uh, cruiser, my land cruiser over there, and pulled it up on there. I don't know if it's working on it. Anyway, she's all done. Pieces all bolted on there. She's good to go. Uh, lay down on the ground here. The only thing I got to do is, you can see the wires come through the cable right there, is I'm um, going to use one of those springs, like on a big rig, to, uh, oh, I forget what they call them, handy something or whatever, anyway to hold this thing up because it's got to be this long in order for uh, the deck to go up really high. But anyway, it goes through there, back up there and into the, uh, through the hole there on the floor of the box and it goes into, uh, onto the battery. So this one's good to go, except for that. 